the best thing to keep in mind is that no blend is the same. So never compare yours to somebody else's. The biggest and most important thing that they had was coming up with boundaries and structure and consistency. That really helped with the co-parenting and their children. When it came to interacting with the spouses as an ex, you have to remember at one point, your spouse loved this other parent. They created a life together. Despite all the differences, now we have to come together in the best interest for the kids. Sometimes as the extra bonus parent, you just can't cross it, she said. She can't really define it. She says she just knows when she has to back off. There's trials, you try, you fail, you learn. And even when you have the best intention, she says sometimes it doesn't work out. So give yourself grace, allow yourself to make mistakes, apologize and apologize to yourself sometimes too. She says there's so many feelings and emotions from everyone, the parents and the kids. And she found you have to block out everyone else's opinion and make the decision from your own heart and in your own mind. She felt that when she first divorced, it was a constant battle. Everyone was saying, take him to court for child support, get the custody. She did all of that. And then she moved an hour away. And she feels now later in life that that's her biggest regret. She listened to everybody else. Yes, child support is at times needed, but she felt that if she took what the state would have given her, it would have made an unlivable life for her ex-partner. So they worked things out together and they really now have drastic lifestyles. So who does it benefit to hurt the other people? So she feels that you should never ever speak badly about the other parent to the children and she feels nothing good comes out of it. She tries to make sure to talk to all of them daily and really dive in weekly a little bit more into how they're doing. And even when they have those great grades and the poor grades, she's still there for them. Again, like we talked about, she said the most important time is finding that time with just her new husband. Their five kids are wonderful. They are all treated exactly the same. They all mostly stay in that house and just visit with their other parents for a weekend. But she is in charge of getting them to and from all activities. So it can be really stressful. So again, maintaining that time with your partner is super important.